Armenia's Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan on Wednesday sent congratulatory messages to President Vladimir Putin and Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev of Russia on the latter's national holiday, Russia Day. The strongly brotherly ties that link Armenia and Russia, as well as our active political dialogue, serve as a solid basis for the development of trade and economic, military and political, cultural and humanitarian cooperation. Pashinyan's message addressed to Putin reads in particular. Artsakh Defense Ministry urges the Azerbaijani side to refrain from provocative actions that exacerbate the situation, the Artsakh Ministry of Defense Press Service reported. Several Azerbaijani media, based on the press service of their Ministry of Defense, reported that Armenian units allegedly violated the ceasefire at various directions of the line of contact using a variety of small arms and mortars, the statement said. The Arsa Defense Ministry not only refused this disinformation, but also reports that during June 11th and on the night of June 12th, the Azerbaijani side used both long-range and sniper weapons of various sizes and AGS-17 type grenade launchers. If necessary, we can justify these facts with appropriate video materials, it said. The Armenian national football squad were hosted by Greece in the fourth round of the Group J qualifiers for the UEFA Euro 2020 final tournament, and they defeated their host 3-2 in Athens. As a result, Armenia climbed to third spot in this group with six points, leapfrogging Greece and Bosnia and Herzegovina who have four points apiece. Super important win tonight, Mkhitaryan wrote on Facebook. Armenia's Gevor Kazaryan was named the best player of this match. He received a special prize after scoring a goal in this clash. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan in his turn noted six goals and two victories in two games. This is already serious. I congratulate the national football team of Armenia with expectation of a heated football autumn. The Criminal Court of Appeal of Armenia on Wednesday rescheduled the consideration of the appeals by the Prosecutor General's Office and by the legal representatives of the successors of the victims of the events that occurred in capital city Yerevan in March 2008 on the respective criminal case involving second President Robert Kocharyan and some other former senior officials. On March 1 and 2, 2008, the then authorities of Armenia used force against the opposition members who were rallying in downtown Yerevan and against the results of the presidential election on February 19, 2008. Eight demonstrators, as well as two servicemen of the internal troops, were killed in the clashes. The Dutch parliament has passed a motion condemning Turkish president's hate speech on April 24th about Armenian genocide. Chair of the Federation of Armenian Organizations in the Netherlands, Mato Ahverdian, tweeted. The motion was submitted in Dutch parliament on June 6th by Christian Union MP Joel Wardewin. The Federation of Armenian Organizations in the Netherlands had urged the parliament to take action in response to these unacceptable remarks. Dutch Foreign Minister Stef Bloch did not advise against the motion and left it to the judgment of the parliament. Russian President Vladimir Putin is expected to arrive in Yerevan on October 1 to take part in a meeting of the Supreme Eurasian Economic Council, Russian Ambassador to Armenia Sergei Koperkin told reporters on Tuesday. He also said that the continuity has been preserved in Armenian-Russian relations after the well-known political events in Armenia. The ambassador noted that the Armenian side is striving to properly carry out chairmanship in the Eurasian Economic Union. He also touched upon the Karabakh conflict and noted that the decision on this issue should be made by the conflicting parties. Russia advocates for the establishment of intensive talks. A manifestation of this, including the recent meeting of former Minister Sergei Lavrov with his colleagues from Yerevan and Baku, as well as the periodic visits of the OSC Minsk Group co-chairs to the region, the ambassador noted. As for the Russian natural gas talks being supplied to Armenia, he said that these gas talks contain many components. The ambassador noted that such components are the analyses of tariffs, natural gas prices, and investment potential. 